You think electric cars save you money? I analyzed the real costs of ownership over 10 years, and the results shocked me. One owner spent $15,000 more than the other. And it wasn't who you think. Stay until the end. These numbers will change everything you believe about savings. Today we're breaking down the most honest comparison between electric and hybrid cars. No advertising, just math and real experience from thousands of car owners. I'll show you the hidden costs that dealerships won't tell you about and the exact formula for which car is right for you. This video will save you at least $10,000 on your next car purchase. Let's start with the obvious. How much does the car itself cost? A popular electric car like Tesla Model 3 or the Chinese BYD Seal will run you forty dollars to $45,000. That's the base version, no fancy options. What about hybrids? Toyota Camry Hybrid or Honda Accord Hybrid cost thirty to $35,000. See the difference already? Ten to fifteen thousand dollar advantage for the hybrid, right from the start. But wait, many will say, yeah, but electric cars are cheaper to run. They'll make up that difference. Is that true? Let's do the math. Let's take a standard mileage, 100,000 kilometers over five years. That's about 62,000 miles or 12,400 miles per year. Pretty typical for an average driver. Electric car. You charge at home on the off-peak rate. Electricity costs about $1,1500 per year. Over five years, $7,1500. Maintenance is minimal. No oil, no spark plugs. Brakes barely wear out, thanks to regenerative braking. Maybe 500 bucks. Over five years for brake fluid and cabin filter. Total, $8,000. Sounds amazing, right? Even with the hybrid's efficiency, that's about 5 liters per 100 kilometers, or roughly 47 mpg. At $350 per gallon, you're looking at $3,000 a year. Over five years, $15,000. Maintenance is more complex. Two systems, oil changes needed, filters, around $2,500. Over five years, total $17,500. Hold on. That means the electric car saves $9,500 over five years. It almost paid back the price difference. All right, everyone, sell your gas cars, buy a Tesla. Not so fast. Now I'm going to show you what electric car salespeople don't want you to know. Pay attention. This is the most important part of the video. Electric car. Hidden traps. First, home charging station. To charge quickly and safely, you need a special level two charger. Installation, minimum $1,500. And if you live in an apartment, public charging is three to four times more expensive. All your calculations go out the window. Second, the battery. Here's where it gets really interesting. After eight to 10 years, the battery degrades, loses 20 to 30% capacity. Used to get 250 miles. Now you get 175. Battery replacement costs anywhere from $8,000 to $15,000. That's almost half the value of the entire car. Third, cold weather. In winter at 5 degrees Fahrenheit, an electric car loses up to 40% of its range. Promised 250 miles, you get 150, and the heater drains the battery like crazy. Fourth, resale value. After five to seven years, and an electric car loses 50 to 60% of its value. Buyers are scared of expensive battery replacement. Hybrids hold their value much better, only losing 35 to 40%. Hybrid, hidden traps, its main downside. The hybrid battery can fail too, but it costs $2,000 to $3,000, five times cheaper, and it usually lasts 10 to 15 years without issues. Second issue, more complex maintenance. Two powertrains require more attention. But in practice, modern Toyota and Honda hybrids easily go 250,000 to 300,000 miles without major repairs. Let's calculate for 10 years of ownership, 125,000 miles. Electric car, purchase, 
$42,000, 10-year operation, $16,000, electricity plus maintenance, charger installation, $1,500, battery replacement, year nine, $12,000, total, $71,500 minus residual value, 30%, $12,600, real cost, $58,900, hybrid, purchase, $32,000, 10-year operation, $35,000, gas plus maintenance, total, $67,000 minus residual value, 45%, 14,400, real cost, $52,600. See that? When you factor in everything, the hybrid saves you $6,300 over 10 years. And if you consider that winter charging costs for electric cars go up even more, the difference is even bigger. But hold on. I'm not saying electric cars are bad. There are scenarios where they really do win. Get an electric car. If you own a house where you can install a home charger, you mostly drive in the city under 100 miles per day. Your region has low electricity rates. There are government incentives for electric car purchases. In some states, that's five to $7,500 in tax credits. You live in a warm climate. Batteries last longer there. Under these conditions, an electric car will truly pay off and give you savings. Get a hybrid if you live in an apartment without a personal charger. You frequently take long trips, 200 plus miles, cold climate, winters below 20 degrees Fahrenheit. You want maximum reliability and simplicity. You're not willing to risk expensive battery replacement. Here's your iron rule. Don't trust the marketing. Electric car salespeople only show you charging costs, hiding the battery replacement. Hybrid salespeople scare you with the complexity of two systems, hiding their reliability. Real savings depend on your situation. Calculate your own conditions, where you live, how much you drive, your local gas and electricity prices. I've given you all the formulas. Now you can make the right decision and save tens of thousands of dollars. If this video was helpful, hit that like button. It really helps the channel.